As it turns out, this is just an incidental comment. As it turns out, Micah can be credited with saving Jeremiah's life later on. Um, uh, This is because Micah lived about a century before Jeremiah, and Jeremiah later was accused uh, because he had prophesied destruction for Jerusalem, which had been considered treason by some of the holdouts in the, inside the city. They were standing against the Babylonians, and Jeremiah was saying, you need to surrender to the Babylonians. This is God's judgment. You need to not be fighting the Babylonians. And um, some defenders of the city said Jeremiah is being treasonous. But certain elders of the land defended Jeremiah by pointing out that Micah had done the same thing in Micah 3.12, prophesied judgment on the city, and Hezekiah had not put him to death. So that that story is found in Jeremiah 26, 17, and 18. So Micah saves Jeremiah's life because Micah prophesied judgment. The king didn't put him to death for treason. Hezekiah didn't put him to death for treason. So when Jeremiah does the same thing, he's not being treasonous. And just in passing, we should say that Jeremiah loved his country dearly. He loved his nation dearly. And loving your nation is not inconsistent with pointing out that your nation deserves the judgment of God. So I can love my country as I do. I can love America as I do and know that if God were to visit fierce judgment on our nation, it would not be unjust. It would not be wronging us. We deserve judgment. We deserve to be wiped off this continent. We deserve it but we love, our, we love our people, and because we love our people, we ask God to stay his hand. We, we look to Micah for the messages of hope that he does deliver. But judgment, prophecies of judgment that Jeremiah gives are not inconsistent with loving your people. Jeremiah loved Jerusalem, and Jeremiah wanted the best for Jerusalem, but Jeremiah was not willing to lie for Jerusalem. He was not willing to tell lies for the sake of his country. Preachers must not lie to the people that they are charged with preaching the gospel to. The gospel is the message of Jesus, and Jesus is the truth. So when we fan out talking about preaching the gospel to people, when we fan out across the land, we must bring the truth. And the truth has to be truth about sin and truth about salvation. What is the truth about our sin and the judgment of God, and what is the truth about gospel? 